Breaking news from Starbase. The next giant leap faces a brief pause. Just hours ago, Elon Musk shared crucial updates about Starship Flight 7 during his latest X livestream. The mission, which has captured the attention of space enthusiasts worldwide, will see a slight delay of three to four days, pushing the launch into next week. But here's why this might be the most exciting delay we've seen yet. While we were all gearing up for a Friday launch following November's groundbreaking Flight 6, SpaceX is taking extra time to ensure every detail is perfect. And trust me, there's a lot to perfect. Ship 33 isn't just another Starship, it's the first Block 2 variant packed with revolutionary upgrades that could transform our journey to Mars. At the production site right now, teams are working around the clock, loading mock satellites into the payload bay for the first time ever. This isn't just a test flight anymore. It's a dress rehearsal for Starship's future as a satellite deployment platform. The spacecraft's enhanced capabilities, from its redesigned flaps to its improved heat shield system, tell a story of relentless innovation. SpaceX has secured a launch window through January 16th, and while the weather this week hasn't been ideal, next week's conditions could provide the perfect stage for this historic mission. The stakes? Higher than ever. The potential? Unlimited. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments from the front lines of space innovation. Let's dive right in. The atmosphere at Starbase is electric as SpaceX prepares for what could be their most ambitious mission yet. Standing tall against the Texas sky, Ship 33 represents more than just another test flight. It embodies humanity's relentless push toward becoming a multi-planetary species. But before we dive into the groundbreaking features of this mission, let's look at what's happening right now on the ground. As dawn breaks over Starbase, teams of engineers are meticulously preparing Ship 33 for its journey. The spacecraft's sleek silhouette looks different from its predecessors, and for good reason. The Block 2 design isn't just an upgrade, it's a complete reimagining of what Starship can be. Those smaller forward flaps you see positioned higher up on the rocket, they're not just for show, they represent countless hours of analysis, testing, and refinement all aimed at solving one of spaceflight's most challenging problems, surviving the intense heat of atmospheric re-entry. But the real magic lies beneath the surface. SpaceX has accomplished something remarkable with this iteration. They've managed to increase the propellant volume by 25%. Think about that for a moment. In the world of rocket science, where every gram matters, a 25% increase in fuel capacity is nothing short of revolutionary. This isn't just about flying higher or faster, it's about expanding the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. The heart of Ship 33 beats with new purpose. Its propulsion system has been completely overhauled, featuring vacuum-jacketed fuel lines that would make any aerospace engineer's heart skip a beat. The improved propulsion avionics module isn't just new technology, it's the brain that will orchestrate a complex ballet of valves and sensors, ensuring every drop of fuel is used with maximum efficiency. Looking inside the spacecraft, you'll find a cockpit that feels more like a command center from a sci-fi movie. But this is no fiction. The redesigned avionics system boasts a flight computer more powerful than ever before, working in harmony with integrated antennas that combine Starlink capabilities, global navigation, and backup communications into unified systems. It's like giving Starship a new nervous system, one that can process information faster and more reliably than ever before. And then there are the cameras, more than 30 of them strategically placed throughout the vehicle. These aren't just for show or for capturing pretty pictures. Each camera serves as an electronic eye, feeding crucial data back to mission control about every aspect of the flight. When you're pushing the boundaries of space exploration, this level of insight isn't just useful, it's essential. But perhaps the most exciting aspect of Flight 7 is what's hiding in its payload bay. For the first time, SpaceX isn't just testing the vehicle, they're testing its ability to deliver cargo to orbit. Ten Starlink satellite simulators wait patiently in the cargo hold, each one designed to match the mass and dimensions of the next-generation Starlink 5-3 satellites. These aren't just dummy payloads, they're a glimpse into the future of global communications. Speaking of communications, 
Let's talk about those V3 Starlink satellites for a moment. The numbers are staggering. 160 gigabits per second of uplink capacity and a whopping one terabyte per second of downlink. To put that in perspective, that's more than 10 times the downlink and 24 times the uplink capacity of the current V2 mini satellites. This isn't just an improvement, it's a quantum leap in satellite communications technology. The mission plan itself reads like a checklist of aerospace engineering achievements. Not only will SHIP-33 attempt to deploy its payload, but it will also perform a crucial engine relight demonstration in space. This might sound simple, but relighting a rocket engine in the vacuum of space is one of the most challenging maneuvers in spaceflight. It's a critical capability for future missions to the Moon and Mars. And speaking of future missions, SpaceX isn't just testing technology, they're testing durability. Parts of Ship 33's heat shield have been intentionally removed to stress test vulnerable areas. It might sound counterintuitive, but this kind of testing is essential for developing a truly reusable spacecraft. Multiple metallic tile options, including one with active cooling, will face the ultimate test during re-entry. This isn't just about surviving the journey back to Earth, it's about being able to do it again and again. The improvements extend to the ground infrastructure as well. The launch and catch tower, affectionately known as Mechazilla, has received significant upgrades. After the near-miss catch attempt during Flight 6, when damage sensors prevented a successful catch, SpaceX has refined the system. The chopsticks, those massive mechanical arms designed to catch a returning rocket, have been enhanced based on lessons learned from previous flights. Perhaps one of the most intriguing aspects of this mission is Raptor engine number 314. Yes, that's Pi, and no, that's not a coincidence. This engine, which first proved itself during Flight 5, represents the culmination of years of development in SpaceX's propulsion technology. Its distinctive PI symbol, emblazoned on the nozzle, serves as a reminder that, at its core, rocket science is still about mathematics, physics, and precision engineering. But this mission isn't just about SpaceX's ambitions. It's about NASA's Artemis program and humanity's return to the moon. Starship has been chosen as the lunar lander for the Artemis 3 and 4 missions. Success here paves the way for those historic missions. The stakes couldn't be higher. Starting this spring, SpaceX will begin a complex series of demonstrations, including propellant transfers in orbit, a crucial capability for lunar missions. Looking back at Starship's journey helps us appreciate just how far we've come. From the dramatic first flight last April, which ended in a spectacular fireball but taught invaluable lessons, to the successful implementation of hot staging in the first controlled re-entry, each flight has pushed the boundaries of what's possible. Flight 6's achievement of a successful re-entry and targeted landing in the Indian Ocean set the stage for what we're about to witness. The delay announced by Elon Musk isn't a setback. It's a testament to SpaceX's commitment to getting everything right. In the grand scheme of space exploration, a few days is nothing compared to the potential impact of a successful mission. Every check, every test, every modification brings us closer to the ultimate goal, making humanity a multi-planetary species. And that's why Flight 7 is more than just another test flight. It represents the culmination of countless innovations, lessons learned, and bold engineering decisions. When Ship 33 lifts off next week, it won't just be carrying satellite simulators. It will be carrying the hopes and dreams of everyone who believes in a future where humanity reaches for the stars, not just as visitors, but as explorers and settlers. The path to becoming a spacefaring civilization isn't easy. It's paved with challenges, setbacks, and moments of triumph. But with each flight, with each innovation, with each lesson learned, we move closer to that goal. Ship 33 and Flight 7 aren't just the next steps in that journey. They're giant leaps toward a future that once existed only in science fiction. As we stand on the brink of this historic launch, one thing becomes crystal clear. Starship Flight 7 isn't just another test. It's a turning point in our journey to the stars. The innovations packed into Ship 33, from its revolutionary Block 2 design to its enhanced payload capabilities, are writing the next chapter in human spaceflight. 
Next week, when those 33 Raptor engines roar to life, we'll all be witnessing something unprecedented. A spacecraft that's not just pushing boundaries, but shattering them. Whether you're a space enthusiast, an engineer, or simply someone who believes in humanity's potential, this is a moment you won't want to miss. Here at Elon Musk 24 Hours, we're committed to bringing you the most detailed, accurate coverage of this historic mission. If you want to stay updated on every development as it happens, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Share this video with fellow space enthusiasts who need to know about these groundbreaking developments. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on Ship 33's new features. I'd love to hear which upgrade you think will have the biggest impact on future missions. Until our next update, keep your eyes on the stars. History is about to be made at Starbase. In the pre-dawn hours at Cape Canaveral, a giant stands silent against the Florida sky. Blue Origin's New Glenn rocket, vertical on Launch Complex 36, cuts an impressive figure against the starlit backdrop. But something's not quite right. The launch window opened on January 6th, then the 7th passed, then the 8th, and still, New Glenn hasn't moved an inch. Meanwhile, 1,200 miles away in Starbase, Texas, SpaceX teams are already in the final stages of preparation for Starship Flight 7. The same Starship that just completed its spectacular sixth flight is nearly ready to soar again, while New Glenn, first announced back in 2016, remains Earthbound. The contrast couldn't be more striking. Just two days after Starship's successful sixth flight, Blue Origin finally raised New Glenn on its pad, a moment that should have heralded an imminent launch. Instead, as SpaceX openly shares updates about Flight 7's preparations, from FTS installation to precise launch timing, Blue Origin has gone mysteriously quiet. This tale of two rockets tells us something deeper about the current state of commercial spaceflight. Why has Blue Origin fallen silent just when their moment in the spotlight seemed at hand? And what does it mean for the future of competition in the launch industry when Starship, arguably the more complex vehicle, is moving at such a rapid pace? Hey everyone, welcome back to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Today we're going to unpack everything about New Glenn's latest delay and what it means for the space race. And for those of you who've helped us reach 990,000 subscribers, thank you, we're on our way to 1 million and your support means everything. Let's dive right in. The story of New Glenn began on a September morning in 2016. Jeff Bezos stood before a crowd of journalists and space enthusiasts, unveiling his vision for a rocket that would change the game. The renderings showed a massive vehicle stretching nearly as tall as the Saturn V that took humans to the moon. Bezos spoke with certainty that day, New Glenn would fly by 2020. The space community held its breath, eager to see America's next great rocket take flight. That was seven years ago. Now, as we stand in the early days of 2024, that same rocket sits silently on Launch Complex 36. The December wind whistles through its massive frame, but the engines remain cold. Just weeks ago, this pad was electric with activity. On December 27, Blue Origin's new CEO, Dave Limp, stood proudly as New Glenn's first stage roared to life in its first hot fire test. The ground shook, and for a moment, it seemed like Blue Origin was finally ready to join the ranks of orbital launch providers. The FAA's approval came shortly after, opening a launch window from January 6th through the 12th. The space community buzzed with anticipation. After all, this wasn't just another rocket. This was supposed to be America's next heavy lift vehicle, a true competitor to SpaceX's dominant Falcon family. Blue Origin even rolled out their rocket to the pad, raising it vertical just 48 hours after Starship's successful sixth flight. The timing seemed perfect, almost choreographed. Here was New Glenn, ready to make history, while its rival was still celebrating. But then, silence fell over Cape Canaveral. As January 6th came and went, Blue Origin's social media channels remained quiet. No updates, no announcements, no explanation. The space community, usually ablaze with speculation and excitement before a maiden flight, found itself staring at an information void. This silence speaks volumes, especially when contrasted with SpaceX's approach to Starship's development. Take Starship Flight 7, for instance. 
While New Glenn stands dormant, SpaceX has been methodically marching toward their next launch. They're not just preparing, they're sharing every significant step with the world. The B-14 boosters move to the pad, the installation of the flight termination system on January 2nd, the detailed flight plans and observation aircraft schedules. It's all out there for everyone to see. This transparency isn't just about public relations, it's about building trust and excitement in the space program. The contrast between these two approaches cuts deeper than just communication styles. It reveals fundamentally different corporate cultures and visions for the future of spaceflight. SpaceX, under Elon Musk's leadership, has embraced a philosophy of rapid iteration and public learning. They're not afraid